Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, as professionals, we've, we've always uh, been training to basically just look at the task at hand, not look too far ahead, definitely not focus on the past. So for us, it's going to be about continuing with that process, uh, take each game as it comes, even though it's in a more condensed period. I think uh, we're taking the time to, to prepare for each one. And, you know, BJ is, is really thoroughly uh, is able to, you know, analyze and break down the opponent and get us in the right headspace. So, uh, you know, as much as it, as it feels like uh, a big a big week, I think we're taking it one game at a time and, and kind of just focusing on each each game as it comes. Thanks, Alex. We'll start with that. Yeah, Alex, uh, you're obviously kind of well known for just working insanely hard on both sides of the ball, but it, it felt like there was maybe more of a collective a effort, on it, especially defensively. I mean, you set guys in the front, like Sam, Hani, Teal, tracking back and like making challenges in your own box. Just kind of what are you? Yeah, I think we, we definitely, um, you know, we talk about everyone on the team attacks, everyone on the team defends, and I think that in that game you really saw that, you know, everyone from the, from the guys leading the line to the back were putting their bodies on the line. They were uh, just basically doing whatever they could to make sure that, that we got out of there with the result, and I think that's the kind of commitment and the kind of level of competition that, that's got to be the standard for us, and I think that, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see that, you know, when we do that, it leads to good things for us. I don't think that we that those guys don't generally do that, but I just think that uh, in this game they, they had a lot of opportunities to do it, and they really uh, they made an impact of the game with their hard work. Yeah, and then I mean, it feels like over the past couple weeks and, and month or so, you guys have been creating chances, and it just hasn't been going in. Just, mm -hmm. I know it's probably a little bit more complicated than just like getting a lucky bounce or finally the ball bouncing your way or something like that. But does scoring two goals? Yeah, I think like you said, we were creating a lot of st a lot of chances, and it just didn't seem to be going. That final five percent wasn't going our way, and I think that while that can be really frustrating, we had to try and focus on the you know the ninety five percent of the things that was that we were doing well and that were going our way. So finally, in this game, when when we do convert a few of those goals, um, yeah, it definitely is a little bit of a you know a reminder that we're doing the right thing and a little bit of positive reinforcement, and especially when we've been talking about linking good performances with good results. That's really what it comes down to. And so hopefully the floodgates will have opened and, and we can continue to do that. But I think that in general, this is a really uh, stable group, a group of guys who, who keeps their head on their shoulders. So the same way when things weren't going our way, we were keeping our cool. Now that we've scored a few goals, I think that, you know, it's not all going to go out the window. I think we're going to continue with the same kind of um, pragmatic approach and, and, and hard work. And, and hopefully then we will gain some momentum. Alex, against uh, Atlanta, you were flying out of the traps as a, as a collective. <coughs> Did you feel that coming over the, the couple of weeks, building up to it, walking down the tunnel uh, for, for the kickoff? It just felt like everybody was on the same page and, and up for it. Yeah, I mean, I think that for sure, you know, entering this stage of the season, it'd be, it'd be embarrassing not to come out hard. But I think if you look at the Austin game, the Orlando game, and the Atlanta game now, we've had really good starts to all those games. Even though in the Austin game, you know, we don't convert. The Orlando game, we don't convert. Atlanta, we finally do, but you see that we're creating really good chances and, and building a lot of pressure early in the game. And I think that, um, you know, that's something that we talk about a lot. And to be able to actually go out and have a platform to do it, um, yeah, that's, that's really good for us. And hopefully after those, you know, early moments, we're able to continue the pressure, which we did in Atlanta as well. You yourself setting the, the tone, the, the early goal, you also set one up that was, was disallowed and a great bit of skill to go beyond Lennon. For you, how important was that, that match as well for your confidence in the run-in to the, to the playoffs? Yeah, I think, that, <clears throat> I think that it was, yeah, it was nice to, again, like, like we said earlier, um, have some of those moments translate into, into goals. Um, I think after Orlando was tough, I had a couple chances that didn't really go my way and uh, had some time to think about it because we didn't have the game on the weekend. So, you know, I think that, you know, I'm proud of myself for, for being able to, to get back out there and, and not let it affect the next game. And I think that uh, I'm proud of the group, the way that they, you know, supported me and we support each other throughout, you know, these hard times. I think that everybody here loves each other and they understand what each, you know, what we're going through and, and that um, <clears throat> it's not always, it's not always going to be the, the, the highs and the good moments. It's also going to be about lows and how you respond to them is really 
the actual test of everything. It's not really about, oh, did you do well in this moment? It's about, you know, is it going to affect the next moment? So, yeah, I think that for us as a team, this can be a, a reminder of what we can do and what we're capable of. And, and as individuals, I think we should all feel confident and excited about the, the upcoming matches. Hey Alex, um, how does it feel that finally the process that you guys have been working on, you mentioned Orlando, you mentioned Austin, how does it feel to finally get a result alongside the, the work that you've been putting in? Yeah, it feels, it feels really good obviously because um, it's coming at a time in the season when, when points are super, super valuable and I think that, you know, it, it had been a while since our last win. I think someone read the stat, it was June 22nd since our last win and I think just uh, getting that taste out of our mouths of, of going into a game and, and coming out without anything to show for it uh, was really valuable. But I just also want to underline the fact that we've all been really focusing on, on process and we've been focusing on uh, a new way of playing and a new way of looking at the game and a way of processing and, and um, judging games. And I think that that has allowed us to, to not really get so high and low with results. And I think that's, that's the most important thing. We look at the game objectively and not, oh, did we win or did we lose? It's what are the parts of the game that did, we did well and how can we continue to do them? What are the parts where we didn't live up to what we're trying to do or um, affect the game in the way we want to and how can we change that? And I think that process-based approach is, is really valuable and something that is going to pay dividends in the long run. Yeah. Um, it, I know you're a team guy and, and uh, you, you work for the team, but personally for you, when you come into the season, uh, do you have a certain target in terms of goals, assists, passes, ground coverage, anything like that? And are you close to hitting those goals? No, I don't, I don't, really, I don't really think like that. I just think it's uh, – I think that in terms of, you know, the way I the, – the, the positions I play, it can be so many – you know, I started this year, I was playing – Midfield, then I was playing wing back, outside back. I play so many different positions. I don't think it really, um, it really makes sense for me to like set goal targets or pass targets. And again, I don't, you know, you never know how much you're going to actually be involved in a season. And so I don't really set that kind of thing. I'm more set more general type of like um, ways that I want to approach, ways that I want to prepare, ways that I want to, um, you know, my mentality to be. Uh, so it's not really numbers, you know, that I'm that I'm putting out. It's much more about. Um, like a holistic way of, of looking at the game, looking at the, my impact on the team. And um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's definitely not like numbers based like that. I, I want to score as much as I can if I get opportunities to, but it's definitely not like, oh, I need to hit 10 or else I'm like, um, it was a failure of a season. Uh, Alex, how much uh, does the tactical responsibility have changed for you on the big day? How much of the tactical responsibility change? Change for you in the DJ system. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think we, yeah, we have a, we have a different uh, philosophy now, I would say, than than in the past. And I think that um, early in in his tenure here, it's been a lot about just like translating those those things and creating a really clear platform for us to to try and uh, achieve those, you know, the the different things that we want to do. I think that it has been a lot of information to process because he's a re really detailed guy, but. I think that he also does a really, really good job of showing you actionable ways that you could actually do what you want. He doesn't just tell you, oh, generally this is what I want. He gives you specific moments when to do it, uh, when not to do it, when uh, or how he wants it done. So I think that basically processing that information has been, been our challenge, but he's made it really easy to digest and he's made it really clear for us. And I think that's, that's been uh, a key to us being able to kind of pick up this new personality, this new philosophy quickly. Go ahead, Claudio, last question. Yeah, um, I mean, you're already told that you, and we know that you play, have been playing different positions for this team since day, all, day one. Do you feel that it's going to be the same thing under DK? You know, I think that this is, I mean, this is the first time in my career that, I mean, we changed a coach when I was at Red Bull, but it was, it was a little bit of a different uh, situation. We had, we uh, kind of put Chris Armas, who was the assistant coach, he took over the role, so we knew each other very well. So this is a new experience for me, and I think, um, I think what's important for me, especially as I get to this, you know, a more mature age is I'm not really worried about myself as much. Um, I'm not worried about what, how it's going to affect me. Um, my main goal and responsibility is to try and be the best version of myself so that I can help the team when I do get a chance so that I can create a good relationship with BJ and, and just help this whole process go as smoothly as possible. So 
I think that right now all I'm focusing on is, is trying to exactly be the best per version of myself, help this team do as well as it can in, in, the, in the short term, and then see where the chips fall later. Thanks so much, Alex. Thank, Thank you, guys. We'll see you Wednesday night.